Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today and um, as you all know, I did this makeup look. Um, I did this on camera actually in front of you guys. So if you want to know how I actually achieve this entire makeup look with very little products and very little money, then by all means please check out that video. Um, what I did was I broke it up into stages. I don't wear foundation often but I do know how to apply it and I also know what products to mix together to get a finished and flawless and polished look. So if you want to see how you can actually get that kind of look and achieve that kind of look with using very inexpensive products then make sure you look at that video. The title will reflect it and it will say something like foundation routine or something in it. If you want to know how I achieved this um, going out to da uh, dinner with daddy look which is date night um, green and yellow look look at that video and that will probably be right before this one. Well it's now two o'clock I have time so since I have time I just decided to get a couple um, uh, videos out to you guys. Now I don't know as you all know I, I do a lot of videos at one time and I don't know when you're getting this video um, but uh, today is I think the 20th uh, which is Monday of August and um, yeah so I'm going to, since I have uh, about two hours before we leave out I'm going to um, do two um, wig tutorials for you guys now this is the long floor length maxi dress I'm wearing which is a yellow and deep greens and things like that so I'm wearing this and then I'm wearing this chain um, as you all know, came from my store, of course. Um, yeah, I'm wearing that. And then this is the look. And, uh, yeah, and I just have my wig cap on. I probably will be rocking my hat, I'm pretty sure. I probably will be rocking my hat. Yes, I probably will be rocking this. But then again, I may not. But I do know I'll be rocking all of these hats on my cruise. And that countdown is 10 days, you guys. We are off to Bermuda. Yeah. All right, you guys. So let's get this wig tutorial done. All right, this is going to be um, a Diana Bohemian wig, tangle free, finest top quality. Um, the style name of the wig is called Wig Tasha, and the color is F1010. All right. I got this from samsbeauty.com, which, as you all know, is one of my favorite stores. I am not working with them. I do not get paid for them um, by them or compensated for mentioning them. I just like to pass the savings on to you guys. You know, I have to always say things like that because, yeah. Um, so, again, this is wig Tasha or Tasha, and that's F1010 as far as the color. She is a bohemian wig. And I got this for, I think it was $8.99, you guys. Remember, I gave you guys a deal alert and um, telling you guys that they had a lot of wigs on sale for $8. They also had ponytails on sale and half wigs as well. Well, I'm just grabbing my scissors right now, you guys, just to cut the tag off. Right now, they do have a sale going on. It's called a Back to School spe um, Special. Um, you may want to check them out because they have things. For instance, their bobby pins right now are $0.39 cents a pack. Um, Borettes, if you have any little girls going to school, um, they are like, I think, 2 for a dollar. Um, it's just a really awesome sale going on. They have some ponytails for $3.99, you guys, right now. They also have some half wigs for $6.99. They have some that's buy one, one free for $12. They also have some regular whole wigs for $9.99, $8.99, like this one that I'm showing. 
they also have some lace fronts for $14.99. So um, I wind up actually getting four um, packages of hair weave for Nene, um, which I will be doing her hair later on when I come back from dinner with Daddy. Um, so I have to do her um, relaxer, and I also have to do her weave. So I will show you guys that when um, when I get a chance as far as the end results of her hair. Uh, I got her four bags or four packs of hair weave. I got six lace fronts and five regular wigs. And I paid, and also a full size perfume, four NYX lip glosses, and I paid $125. Yeah. Yeah. So now you know why they're my favorite. Now you know why I mention them all the time. And now you know why my deal alerts are definitely involved, um, so, somewhat involved them in it if I see things that's on sale. All right. So. Let's get started about this wig. This wig, when it comes out the pack, looks like this. And when you turn it inside out, it just has your regular adjustable um, strap at the back. Your stretch cap, of course. No combs whatsoever. Well, how do you fix that? Well, if the wig isn't snug enough, which this wig looks like it'll be snug enough without any combs. If you want a more permanent fix, then, you know, your regular putting in some bobby pins strategically throughout your head. You can always go to the hair store, your local hair store, and just buy the actual um, combs that you can sew in. It doesn't take anybody that is a seamstress. It doesn't take anybody that, um, you know, you're going to have to do a lot of intensive sewing. No. You just few a few little threads in it, and that's it. But you can sew them in wherever you like. So if you don't have a wig that has any combs in it, you um, that's a that's a way that you can do any wig. Okay. So let's get started. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this on my head. Move the cat off of my hairline a little bit. She is a little small, you guys. So what I do is when it's just a little teeny bit small where I'm a little afraid that it'll like ride up in certain areas and stuff, all you have to do is just grab a bobby pin. It's just simple. Grab a bobby pin and then put it in and then twist it and then put it push it further in. And that'll keep it in in one space. That'll keep it in, you know, locked in place. Okay? Um, whenever a wig is a little too um small that I think it's a little it's gonna be like a little snug then I just do that to the sides. I get the sides the way I want it and then I just lock the the comb in place. I, I mean lock the bobby pin in place. So this is it you guys is really not much to her. She is a fun wig. Again, you can do some uh, bobby pins or you can sew in some pins, whatever one, you, whatever floats your boat. See, this is where I would be scared to ride up at. So, when I'm off camera, I'll just go ahead and bobby pin that right there. But yeah, she's pretty fun. 
kind of funky. She's like a safer version of a spiked wig, I would say. Um, because what it is is that it's like a little spiky right here. But it's not all the way spiky. And if she becomes too um, spiky for you, you can always take a little bit of clear gel or some mousse. Do like that with your hands and then just smooth her down. And that's it. But she's a cute um, shortcut, you guys. As you can see, I didn't really do anything to her coming out the package. You really don't have to do anything to her. But yeah, she's just a cute little wig to, you know, do a little change up. And it doesn't cost a lot. This was $8.99, you guys. But yeah. I like to change things up. This is a cute little wig. I like the color, as you all know. Um... And yeah, this is just a cute little wig that you can wear just to change things up and have a little cute wig to just throw on that you don't have to do anything to. So, on that note, you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you for tuning in. Yep. And be blessed.